but we are here at Rip Curl San Clemente and we are picking up a new Firewire mid-length. I've never seen it, so brand new. It's called the Long Rider and we're going to go down to Oceanside this morning and test it out. It's foggy, but there's waves. Uh, may, might just be a good day for an, a Long Rider, you know? We're going to go go get this thing. Five 42.6 liters. This thing is a glider. So a round tail, kind of almost similar to like a Dominator 2 nose. Pretty nice single concave all the way through the bottom here, nice and flat. So my first impressions are it's gonna be a very user-friendly, easy to paddle, mid-length. Well a five pin setup, so quad or thruster. Uh, looks like I've gotten paired here with the Velox, which are the, you have a little bit of both, so you can go lar uh, quad or thruster on this one. My first impressions, I think this is just going to be like a really easy to ride surfboard. Over here, Oceanside Pier. It is the middle of October. It's foggy. Uh, and this is the all new Long Rider by Firewire. It's about two feet at 15 to 16 seconds, so it's kind of a little walled. Uh, we'll go out, find a corner, try and go uh, get a couple turns in and just cruise. I uh, haven't, haven't really surfed too much in the last few weeks. This thing has got some beef. This is a 610. It's 42 liters, so very healthy and very beefy surfboard from what I would normally ride. Paired it up with the Velox Flex Fins by Firewire, the Air Core. Uh, these fins have a little bit more rake in them, as you can see, so very good for carves and just a pretty user-friendly fin as well. Go out and try it, see how it goes. Mid-lengths, you know, they're really fun, really easy to get into waves and have a paddle and just kind of go surfing when the waves are not that great. So, session one on the long rider. The waves were definitely subpar. It was a little windy, kind of cheese breezy down on Oceanside. A lot of closeout. So today, swells picked up and we're at T Street, the local watering hole of St. Clemente. And with that swell, the tide's dropping, so it's kind of breaking a little further out. And when T Street does that, it's pretty soft and kind of rolly. It's not really a wave that you really ride like a normal shortboard in. So it actually is going to be a pretty good day for this thing, I think, just to keep pace on waves and clear sections and really just go for distance. Long rider, long waves.
So we just went round two on the all new Long Rider by Firewire Surfboards at T Street. They're swell today, the fog went away, it's a beautiful sunny October Sunday. I had a lot of fun on this thing. Um, first kind of feels the other day when I rode it in Oceanside was the simplicity of paddling into waves. That being said, it is 42 liters, so it's got a lot of beef. Differences between this board and then the Boss Up would be the width. So the Boss Up is a lot more narrow and then you have this big double concave through the bottom where on this long rider, it's just a gentle single all the way through. Um, so the width made the board super stable. And then, yeah, just first impressions was that it's super easy to ride, very user-friendly surfboard, easy to paddle into waves because you got so much foam up under your chest and just an overall easy long rider. Um, T Street was about two to four feet maybe bigger on some of the sets. And T Street's one of those waves that's actually really hard to paddle into when it's this size because it breaks on different parts of the reef. So just that little shelf, the extra foam was allowing me to get in the wave super early and kind of just glide and pass by and make it real fun and real easy. It's not a board that I would typically ride, but lately I've just been really enjoying riding these mid lengths and getting on bigger boards and then when I get on a bigger board and kind of transition into surfing a smaller shortboard, it actually makes it easier. It's like swinging a heavy baseball bat before you actually go to home plate and, uh, and start swinging. Really fun board and all around, I paired it with the uh, Velox Air Core Firewire fins. A lot of rake in these fins, so they're designed for big carves kind of turning. Um, and then it's just got that nice round tail. Overall, this board I think is a quad would just have a ton of drive. I rode it as a thruster and it, it was nice to pivot. I ran no pad on it. I usually run uh, stomp pads and I just decided, hey, I'm gonna try it without a pad. And it's kind of nice because you mo I was moving my feet around. You can probably see my little marks actually. They range from my front foot being all the way from here to up here. So I felt like I was moving my feet on this board a lot just to kind of figure out the sweet spot. But realistically, the board's gonna do all the work for you because it is thicker and it's wider. So I felt like I didn't really have to work too hard on the wave to let the board flow through sections easily. I'll try and do a little comparison maybe in a single sessions episode for you guys of like the boss up versus this board so you can see how the two move underfoot. I would say the boss up is more high performance and this is just one of those boards you jump on if you want to go paddle around and catch waves easily. Small days, big days, whatever it be. Um, yeah, fun surfboard. Try it out.